During the first two seasons of The Real Ghostbusters, Lorenzo Music, best known for voicing Garfield the Cat, played the role of Dr. Peter Venkman. In a performance comparable to Bill Murray's from the 1984 comedy, with music perfectly encapsulating the character's sarcasm and wit, it still managed to be its own thing, with music's performance being a favorite amongst fans. Now jump ahead to the series' third season and music would be replaced by Full House's Dave Couillet, with Couillet holding onto the role for the remainder of the series. Now for those that didn't hear, this past week there was an Extreme Ghostbusters reunion. Hosted by Kylie Griffin herself, the Ship It Show podcast Tara Strong, Kouye, who returned to the role of Peter Venkman in Extreme Ghostbusters two-parter Back in the Saddle, he talked about the pressures he faced initially playing the character following Music's departure, admitting, You know, I just basically did a Bill Murray impression and, and uh, that was it. It was just kind of very simple, um, but I was filling some very iconic Lorenzo Music shoes and it was uh, yeah. something that really kind of played with my head at the time because I thought his voice is so iconic and so recognizable. And here I'm just coming in doing a schlocky Bill Murray impression, you know? Maurice LaMarche, who voiced the character of Dr. Egon Spangler in both The Real Ghostbusters and Extreme Ghostbusters, he would quickly chime in, telling Kouye that he did a fantastic job saying that both he and music were great bankmans. You made it your own, man, and, and there was nothing to do for, you know, Lorenzo, God love him and God rest his soul, you know, he, he was... You know, he was doing his own, you know, thing with it. And you made you made it your own as well, you know, and they just decided to switch horses halfway through the through production. And you you did a fantastic job, man. Well, the Ship It Show special, again, it was centered around Extreme Ghostbusters, which, by the way, if you haven't watched it yet, we have a link to it down below in this video's description. You gotta check it out. Kouye, he did reminisce about the studio recording sessions of the real Ghostbusters. I just remember laughing with Mo and and Frank and Arsenio. I mean, it was like four of the most immature people you could possibly sit <laughs> in a recording studio. It was just anything would set us off like and it was just so sophomoric. It was like burping and farting and just stupid stuff. And we we just couldn't compose ourselves. Again, if you've not checked out the Ship It Show's Extreme Ghostbusters reunion, we got a link to it down below in this video's description. With that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below, and we'll see you right back here next time. <laughs>